We are on our way to Los Angeles. Let's get on this plane though. We're here in LA. It's day one. I got here not too long ago. I need to shower. I finally took my hair down, but I haven't washed it. So I'm gonna just shower, get the funk of the plane off of me, and spend time with my family. <laughs> hey you guys good morning finally went grocery shopping <laughs> went grocery shopping this morning at trader joe's didn't vlog a ton of it honestly but i do want to show you the groceries i got and do a bit of a grocery haul so excited finally got these groceries because <laughs> Just being here at my parents home we just don't eat the same you know and although they have really good foods and stuff like with me really trying to stay on track uh it's gonna help so so much that i got these groceries and i can cook things that i love but that also help me towards my goals honestly this isn't gonna hold me over for the whole week i already know um and side note <sighs> I forgot how expensive grocery shopping here is. I'm telling you, it's so much more affordable in the UK, but it was really nice being in Trader Joe's and just being in familiar places with some familiar yummy foods. But yeah, let's do this haul. Okay, let's look at some of these. Of course, we got some of the staples. I got bananas, because I like to make fruit smoothies in the morning, bell peppers, mushrooms, carrots. This has been key for me. I didn't even know how much I like carrots until I started buying them and snacking on them. So good. Like, I don't know, just, just to grab a couple throughout the day and snack on them whenever you're kind of feeling hungry, but you know, you want to stick to your meal plan. And so I know these are going to help me out so much during this week. Got some pomegranate seed, Greek yogurt, which you can use so many different ways. Use it as a substitute for sour cream. Use it, you know, make a fruit parfait. Uh, put it atop pancakes like but I actually want to try to use it this time Cooking it with my chicken kind of helping make a marinade. I've seen it online and I've never cooked it that way before So I'm excited to try it this time. We got some halloumi cheese a bunch of pre-cut mango and a ton of chicken thighs Chicken thighs definitely are my favorite like cut of a chicken. They are higher in fat than like chicken breast, but there's also so much more juicy and tastes so, so good. So I know I'm making a lot of chicken this week and I wanna do chicken thighs. Some acai packets, cause I wanna be making smoothies, frozen berries, faded cheese, avocado, tomato, lemons, grapes, frozen straws, some seasonings, and this is the grocery haul that we got for right now. These are things I literally buy almost like, I buy them all the time. <laughs> I might use them to prepare and cook in different ways, but yeah. Trusted, true groceries that work for me no matter what, that help me prepare super tasty, delicious meals that still fit within my calorie goals and my calorie range. Usually whenever I come back home and I'm here in Los Angeles, like I tend to kind of struggle with staying on track. So I'm feeling good about this week, happy with my groceries and excited to just like take each day as it comes, you know? It's that jam that you bumping in the car on the- uh, I'm sweating so much. This LA is so freaking hot. Okay, hold up. 
this is so exciting. I haven't been to this gym in a hot minute, but this was like my gym, you know? Okay, if you don't know, I'm born and raised Los Angeles and I've moved to London about a year and a half ago. And so, yeah, it's just so exciting being here. It's just so many memories at this gym. Ashley losing her weight. Ashley getting slim. I'm still working on getting slim, clearly, but <laughs> I'm just so happy to be at this gym. Friends so disgusted, wonder how the hell they play it. They're secretly, you know, they're gonna save it to their playlist. Dance to it alone and claim they hate it. Later be the one to say I like when they were nameless. Like I was listening before they were famous. Ain't it funny all the years you gotta put into the struggle and it's just so you can try to entertain us. Waiting for them summertime sick. Radio hits when we bounce with our friends like this. Hit the beach with the sun on our back and the tunes all in. Yeah. Grateful to this how we live. Time and money just to hear it at a festival. Play it in the car at a party. Show your friends it's the best of all. Get the old score out the way. You know what's getting played. Hit the play. I spin every day. And they made a radio song. Knowing that we'll sing along when we hear it on. They made a radio song. Knowing that we'll sing along. We'll sing along. That you bump all night Man, you must have heard it like a thousand times Tweaking little bits till you get it right And right and right in on bites Until you live the life of your dreams But it ain't easy Break on the scene, living life so freely Go! <laughs> I'ma have a compilation of me putting the camera in your face And you being like, get the camera on! <laughs> so we're having a little girls night you remember this old apartment? Do you remember? Look at that. Do y'all remember? This used to be my old apartment and my old roommate. Old apartment. <laughs> 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 throwback. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm meeting up with Jasmine finally. We finally organized this. I'm driving to her place to hang out. It's my first time seeing her new place, meeting her new mans. I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm happy. We're gonna drive and snack on some smart sweets because your girl wants the fiber. I like this snack so much. It's just so nice. Zero fat, 42 carb, 13 fiber, zero protein. And just a really good, nice alternative for candy. They're so good. But anyway, okay. Let's go see my girl. Guess what I am? Boom. Look at her boobies! Look at her boobies! This has been so much fun. Kind of lost track of time. Supposed to hit the gym, but I didn't. <laughs> but she has an apartment gym here, so we're gonna go do some cardio downstairs. I am vlogging with my cell phone. My camera's in the car. I'll grab it though for our gym session. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I get people time. asking me all the time. Every time I come to LA, oh my god, are you gonna see Jasmine? Are you gonna see Nikki? Do you still talk to Omar? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> look, yes, I, she's still I forgot to how tiny she was. She's so tiny, you guys. But look at Ash. <laughs> Girl, she walked in. I was like, <laughs> she did. She I made me feel so good, good you guys. Body, like, she she came up to me. She was like. What's going did, on with did, your did face? You she you was get, like, it looks like you got a lift. I, like, I, I asked her, I was like, did you get like Botox? Did you do something? She's like, no, I didn't. I was like, that's so crazy you guys say that. Your brows look so lifted. Because I've, I've done it. I know what it looks oh like for this gosh. to get like a little lift. And that's how she's looking. But it's just like the skin is tightening. I'm trying to get on your level. Ooh, look at them legs. What level? <laughs> There's absolutely no strength in these legs. <laughs> You're, they look good, okay? I, Puerto Rico mommy, okay? Puerto Rican mommy. Look how lovely her gym is. And there's Bay. We're gonna just do some treadmill walking. So nice. were juiced. It smells like vegetables. It's vegetables. Nasty. It actually tastes pretty good though. Uh, <laughs> mm. Why are you looking at it like that? Just try it. It's pretty good. Aren't you surprised? It's nasty. <laughs> no, it's not. You can't drink. Finish the rest of this. You can finish that. Mm -mm. Is it surprisingly good? Stuff you gave me. It's surprisingly pretty good, isn't it? Like the ginger I thought, I thought and lemon milk. Have, uh, apple in it. It does. Yeah. Why isn't it sweet? What do you What do you taste mainly from it? The leaves. <laughs> it tastes the leaves. Yeah, but it's not good. You gonna go finish this? Mm -mm. Where's Sonia? You should just try it too. She went to the uh, store. Took time to shop it. This tastes pretty good, Daddy. You think so, huh? I could do this every morning. I'm gonna do it every morning this week. Good for you. <laughs> Don't let sweet. his commentary stop you from trying it. It's good. This is a good drink. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup, just some, honestly, just some concealer and some blush um, today. A little color on my lips. We're going to my dad's office. 
I'm like answer phones for him, playing secretary today. And I'm also doing my own work there. So I'm bringing my computer and stuff. And yeah, and actually, let me set this scene for you guys, okay? Let me tell you. So like a month or two ago, right? I get this text from my dad. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. I get this text from him and <laughs> clearly my first thought was like, are you really trying to set me up? Like absolutely hilarious, right? And then I just proceeded to tease him on and off for over the next few months about how he tried to set me up, you know, he think he found his son-in-law, blah, blah, blah. And he insists that's not what he's doing, but the proof is in the pudding, right? And I've been teasing him ever since that that's what he's trying to do. And it's just been this running joke between us and it's been so funny and so much fun. And so now that I'm here in town and I'm going to his office today, I thought it'd be kind of funny to dress all up and I'm gonna see if my dad says anything. So <laughs> that's what we're about to do. I'm just gonna put on a dress and be like, okay, daddy, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just wanna see what he's gonna say, you know? Cause he's gonna know exactly what I'm doing since I've been teasing him about how I think he's trying to set me up with his new hire. So we'll see his reaction, but yeah. So I'm gonna set you guys up in the living room where he is right now. And then I'm gonna get dressed and I'll walk in. And the goal is to get a reaction from him. I don't know if I will. What the heck did I just do? Oh my God. What did I just put in my lash? Bro, I'm just gonna ruin this makeup I just put on. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set you guys up in there. This is gonna be funny. All right, Daddy, I'm ready for work today. Not good enough? I'm gonna catch that for you. <laughs> you gotta get a girlfriend. <laughs> you have a girlfriend. It's not cute enough for you? I don't like this outfit. Dress. <laughs> that did not go as planned. Not much of a reaction. I changed the dress. Actually, let me show you guys this dress. I'm so happy I found this dress. Look at this. All the way up to my neck. And I didn't think this was gonna look good, but it actually looks so good. Like, I actually really like this one. This is a nice length too. So I'll probably actually just wear this one. Maybe this one will get a reaction out of them. <laughs> Alright, got the green juice for this morning. It's nice and cold now. Six months from the dying's perspective. Hmm. My little bro turned into a lumberjack when yes, I was gone. You even got the shoes. Show him them lumberjack arms. <laughs> Hi YouTube! <laughs> Hey you guys, what's up? Today we're just hitting the gym, we're chatting. Hey guys, so we here at the gym doing our ting. Um, I'm still jump roping as you can see. I don't do it every day like I was when I was doing the challenge, but I do it quite often. It's just such a great cardio workout. Um, I do a lot of cardio nowadays and I know some people have asked me like, why don't I lift before I do cardio? If your goal is to gain strength, then it is smarter to lift first because you can maximize and, you know, use the most of your energy during that lift. But I have found, even though strength is a priority for me, I have found that if I go to the gym and I lift first and then do my cardio, I don't really do the cardio. Like, I tend to skip it. I find it so much more difficult to convince myself to stay at the gym and to do cardio. 
So I always try to start with my cardio. I and I right now I'm doing a lot of cardio um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Using it as a warm up and getting a sweat in before I start my lifts. Um, and as you just saw, I always foam roll and stretch and do dynamic stretches before I get in my lifts. Those are some of my favorite ones. I literally do every single day <laughs> to really stretch out my hamstrings, which are always really, really tight. And just to roll out my legs, my glutes and everything else since you know, I'm the squatting queen over here. Like, I just love me some squats, which is what we're doing today. Um, oftentimes, b before I really jump into my working sets of squats, I like to do breathing pause squats, which if you've been here, you know, you know, you're familiar with them. There's not new. It's really good for ankle mobility, opening your hips, just sitting in that really, really low position and having the weight on your back. It's how I really like to start my squats off many, many days, not all the time, but very, very frequently. And now we're moving into um, just different working sets. I played with a lot of different numbers here because if I remember correctly, I didn't eat a ton this day. And I'm really trying to get back into lifting heavier, right? To really, you know, just really get back into pushing myself to do more. Um, I did manage to bench press, which I'm so excited about. I feel like I've really been slacking on my bench. I've only really been doing it whenever I go to, you know, my powerlifting gym in the UK. And so really need to start just working on having a regular routine, consistent program, um, and getting back to doing more of a power building style, especially since, my powerlifting competition is getting a you know delayed is getting postponed. I was hoping to do one in the fall of 2022, but as you can see all of this travel and it's not even done yet. Like spending time in LA, later you'll see next week I'm going to Vegas and then the week after that I'm in Dubai. Like there's just a lot of things happening. And so I realized that um it's pretty unrealistic of me to try to do a competition right now. I have to do it in 2023. But I, I'm really excited for it. And honestly, right now, I'm just really excited for what I'm doing. I really love the way my body's looking, the muscle that I'm retaining, the shape that I'm building, the fat that I'm losing. I'm really just trying to do what I can while I have all these little trips and vacation moments coming up. Because I'm still trying to make progress and I don't want to stay stagnant. Oh, well, we got her. We got her, this massive baby. This bad boy. Hey, you guys. It's been a long day. I got home and I've been craving ice cream. I want something sweet. This has been a really great week so far, but I got a craving, so... I stopped at the store, fully intending to get Halo Top because I really, really like their ice cream. It always hits the spot and you get entire pint for 360 calories. And I said, perfect. But while I was there, I did end up buying the Halo Top, but I also bought this because I've been seeing these in the store even in London and I haven't tried it and I wanted to try it. And so I um, gave some to my family, to my stepmom, my younger brothers. Like the size of it is pretty good considering this is ice cream and it's 110 calories per like ball. Oh my God. Mm. So so good the like sweet rice that's on the outside that's holding it is so good and it works so well with the ice cream like y'all y'all need to try this <laughs> it's just so good i love it i'm gonna finish off my day with two of these Hit the spot, she the craving. Oh my God. I, this is so freaking good. <laughs> I'm about to end the rest of my day, chill, watch some TV and finish my desserts. But yeah, 